So why do you uh, come to Cambodia? Like uh, you know your your decision back then. You know when you were in Canada, let's say. About the temple normally. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. So uh, good morning, sir and ma'am. Uh, it's a very uh, let's say sunny morning and a bit of a cloudy morning here on the Bogor Mountain. And you're from Canada, yes. which is a very very far away uh, nation from Cambodia. Yes. And uh, sir and ma'am, uh, my first question is that uh, why do you come to Cambodia and you know to Bogor uh, specifically, let's say? Um, uh, we came just because it's a beautiful the, the mountains, the tropical. We, yeah. we also saw some of the islands, Koh Rong Salom, and uh, all of the ancient sites here are just so beautiful. And the history here is is amazing. We're very interested in seeing all of the you know, rent ruins of the French colonialism. Oh. Where, uh, Kind of a history buff, so I, I find all that very interesting. So you come to Bogor because uh, of the uh, ancient, not not really ancient, but no. more like a colonial structure. Yeah. So you have like sentimental value with the colonial structure. Um, in particular, we we like seeing uh, some like uh, abandoned things. Um, yeah. And uh, <laughs> Chandra is her birthday soon, so this is uh, she's always wanted to come to Cambodia, and, and this is one of the beautiful stops that we wanted to see. Yes. It was like the jungle coming up in the mountains that I wanted to see that, and the monkeys and the, the beautiful trees. It's uh, yeah, all of it. <laughs> But is it your first time in Cambodia? If I would yeah. ask. Yes. Yeah. 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 Is that the first time off of North North America? We've uh, never been this far away from home. And yeah. First time international. First time international. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you know, for example, um, before you come here, like you know, in Cambodia, there are many places. Of course, on Koh Phangan. Uh, maybe you have visited uh, not, uh, not, not yet. yet. Not gonna yet. see that on her birthday. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So, also, I mean, uh, you know, Boko. Like, how did you research about Boko? You know, because it's still a bit far away yeah. from from oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I just started doing research, I guess, about different places that you could see in Cambodia, different mm -hmm. uh, different sites. I did a lot of like looking at different YouTubers who had taken trips to Cambodia and seeing the places, and I, that's actually what made me want to come to Boko. Mountain was I, I watched a YouTuber who did a trip across uh, Cambodia and he had done a, a video about all the sites he had seen on Bokor Mountain and I was like oh, I want to see that too. <laughs> and you know the particular thing about coming to Bokor is that you use the scooter. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you know Cambodian people because they come as a family, they normally use car. So is there like a you know like um. Like a like a special thing about scooter coming here, you know, you experience the air, the clouds, something like that. Yes, yeah, definitely. That was something that we were looking forward to as well. Was just trying out riding scooters, and you get a really good feel for everything. You get, you get such a good view of everything as you're riding around. You can feel the air, and you see the trees and the monkeys and the smells, and it was beautiful. The, the smell of the rainforest, like as, yeah. we were, as we were coming up. So many flowers <laughs> in the jungle. You could just smell as you're driving. It's yeah. very Very yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, but uh, sir and ma'am, uh, you know, uh, Canada. I suppose you know you also have you know beautiful scenery. Also, you know, mountain, mountain peaks with ice, snow. Yeah. So like, uh, you still want to visit mountain even though you come to Cambodia? Yeah, well, it's different. You have it's more of a jungle here. We don't. Um, the, I'm obsessed with the trees. <laughs> the ah, trees here are so tropical. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. so big and tall. Like, We don't get trees like that in Canada, where it's just a really, really tall tree with just just leaves at the top. But we don't. We have a lot of uh, evergreen trees, Christmas trees, <laughs> oh, Christmas trees. Like, yeah. like pine trees. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We don't get a lot of like the type of trees you guys have here, and the palm trees. We don't we don't have palm trees in Canada at all. Yes. Uh, so uh, so far coming to Boko, what have or uh, where have you visited? Uh, we just arrived yesterday, so so far we just started driving up the mountain. That's it. <laughs> we just saw the big statue, and that's about it. Yeah. yeah. And that one temple was a very beautiful temple with all of the intricate carvings. Yeah, it was just down a little bit from here. I don't know the names of anything yet. <laughs> We're just stopping whenever we see something beautiful. Yes. And uh, after this, uh, you said you will visit Angkor Wat. And and is there anything else in Cambodia you wish to visit? Let's see. Um. Yeah. We're going into. We're gonna see Angkor Wat. We also 
are going up into the Kulin Mountains. Uh, we're going to the Elephant Sanctuary there, and there's also, I believe, some temples up in the Kulin Mountains. Yes, there's yes. The, the Buddha that lies. Uh, based on limestone, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, so we're going to go up and see that. Uh, we're going to go see Angkor Wat. We're going at, uh, down to see the floating villages by the Tonle Sap. Look, yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 I'm not getting yeah. the names of things yet, yeah. but um, yeah, we're going to go and see that as well. We're going into Phnom Penh, and then we're going to go see the, the palace and some, uh, uh, of course, pagodas all over the place. We'll check out as we're going through things. But yeah. So it's like a very, very extensive trip here in Cambodia. Yes, yeah. We're trying to get as much as we can in the time that we have here, trying to see it all. <laughs> yeah, we already were in Suhanikville for a couple of days. We saw some of the pagodas there. We uh, took a boat across to Koh Rong Salom. We went diving on the reefs and did a bunch of travel around the island there too. It was really beautiful. So now we're we're, we're on the mainland and <laughs> the seas, which is good. I think we're going to go up to Kep as well and Kep, see the oh, yes. crab markets. Oh, the crab market, yes. 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 And, uh, <laughs> Maybe the last question, uh, you know, because you say this is the first time going international uh, far away from home. Uh, you know, in Southeast Asia, you know, you have uh, Bali in Indonesia, you have, uh, you know, uh, a lot of island in Malaysia, uh, you know, also Thailand and Vietnam. So why do you uh, come to Cambodia like, uh, you know, your, your decision back then, you know, when you were in Canada, let's say? About the temple normally. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. why. I let Chandra make the decisions. It was her birthday, so. Um, yes. I, I saw a documentary about Angkor Wat about 15 years ago. I'm, I'm really, um, really interested in ancient history and ancient civilizations, and you know, I'd love to go to Egypt and all these places. But then I saw this um, a documentary about Angkor Wat, and it's the largest ancient religious center in the whole world. Yes. yes. So, <laughs> so if I'm gonna see, if I'm gonna see, yeah, yeah, if I can see one, then uh, that better be the one I see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, sir, and yes, uh, thank you for the interview. Yeah,